Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moon Moth Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here and your continued love and support. For those of you that would like to book a private reading, you can find my email down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings as well as other services with me. For those of you that are new, welcome. You may also want to check out my second tarot channel, Neptune's Child Tarot where I do have a bunch of other pick your card readings posted for you guys um, as well. I'd also encourage you um, to check out the pick a card playlist that I do have um, for you guys here on this channel as well, especially if this reading does uh, resonate for you and you enjoy the content. Um, thank you guys all so much for your um, support here on the channel. Um, I do have um, PayPal, Cash App, um, my Amazon wish list for those of you that are wanting to send in a tarot or an oracle deck for me to use here for our readings. All of that information is also listed in the description box um, as well. But thank you guys so much for your your donations. Um, those of you that have sent in tarot and oracle decks already and have also donated directly to um, my PayPal, I truly appreciate your support. Um, you can also support me by you know, uh, the re reading is something that you do enjoy. Giving the video a thumbs up is also something very helpful for uh, growing the channel here as well. So thank you guys, you know, for all that you do. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Um, even those of you that leave really beautiful comments as a way to show your support and love for the channel. That is truly appreciated as well. Okay, so today's pick a card reading, we are looking into the connection between you and your person whether they are somebody that you're in a relationship with, you know, maybe just dating or flirting with, crushing on, um, married to, separation with, no contact with, okay? Basically, we're finding out today, why are they distancing, why are they distancing themselves from you? Okay, so we have a hermit here, <laughs> and I felt like that was appropriate for today's reading. So we have a hermit for each of the decks that are showing here, and the hermit is an energy of solitude, introspection, reflection, healing, um, basically choosing to be alone or withdrawn, okay? So why are is your person distancing themselves from you? You can think of it as them withdrawing from you. Maybe for some of you, it's like you can tell a difference in their energy. Like, why are they being distant? Um, some of you, it could be that they completely cut off contact. Um, some of you, it could be withdrawing, you know, little in little ways that you're kind of noticing. So that's what we're finding out today. Why are they distancing themselves from you? We're going to ask that question first. Then we're going to be finding out what their feelings are towards you. And that might come out when we ask, what are they, why are they distancing themselves? Then we're going to look at what are their fears and concerns, okay, about you, about the connection. And then we're also going to be looking into what is their next move or their next action towards you, if at all, okay? So pile number one, you are going to be the Wizard's Tarot. Okay, and that is this deck here, the Wizard's Tarot. And this is the Hermit card. Okay, for pile one. Why are they distancing themselves from you? Pile number two, you are going to be the Tarot of the Owls. And that is the back of the deck. This is the Hermit card. Pile number three, you are going to be the Green Witch Tarot, and that is the back of the deck there, and this is the Hermit card, which is the Holly King in this deck. Okay, so those are your choices here. Pile one with the wizard's tarot, pile two with the tarot of the owls, and then pile number three with the green witch tarot. Timestamps are down below. Pause the video if you need a little bit more time, and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, pile one. So those of you that resonated with this hermit card here, 
from the Wizards Tarot. This is going to be a reading. So we're going to put this back. And we're first going to ask, why is your person distancing themselves from you? Okay. We're going to see what comes through with that. So why is your person distancing themselves from you? Why are they distancing themselves from you? Pile number one. Why are they distancing themselves from you? Why are they withdrawn? We have the seven of cups. Okay. So for some of you, it could be that this person is thinking about their options. So maybe it's a choice they have to make. They could be feeling confused. Um, they could be feeling over emotionally overwhelmed. Okay. Why are they distancing themselves from you? You can be considering their options here. We have the six of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So this person is feeling some type of imbalance here within your connection. Um, they may also be not as invested, okay, as you. Um, they can be feeling that either you are the person who's not investing into them, maybe they are someone who's not investing into you, okay, but there's some type of imbalance that's here. Let's see what else. Why are they distancing themselves? To me, with the Six of Pentacles, that is also showing the withdrawing of energy, the with withdrawing of investing into something, why are they distancing themselves from you, pile one? You know, because the six of pentacles is about, when it's in the upright, it's about reciprocity, equal give and take in a partnership, right? So for whatever reason, they can feel that maybe, are you not investing yourself in the same way they are? Or is it a vice versa situation? Why are they distancing themselves from you? We have the world, okay? Now, some of you, this could be maybe them feeling that things are over, things have ended. Some of you, there could be distance that's here, maybe literally physical distance. Some of you, could this could be even an online connection. Let's see. Why are they distancing themselves from you? We have the Ten of Wands, okay? So the Ten of Wands can be about stress. It can be about feeling overwhelmed, feeling that maybe they've gone through a lot with you, or they could be holding on to a lot of emotional weight or even baggage energetically, even from something that they're going through, even in their personal life, okay? This is under a lot of stress and feeling a heavy burden, okay? Maybe for some of you, if you're actually in a relationship with this person, they can be considering whether or not they should end the relationship, okay? Let's see what else. We have the three of pentacles. Okay. Now the three of pentacles, for some of you, it could be that this is a work situation. Okay. Maybe if it's a work situation and you do work with this person, if they could be considering whether or not it's worth it, right, to invest here. Because the ten of wands is also when we're holding ourselves back. Okay. Okay. Holding ourselves back. So those of you that are, say, broken up with this person and there has been an ending here, this person could be considering whether or not they want to reconcile with you. Okay. Those of you where this person has gone through something challenging in their personal life that they're maybe kind of bringing to a close here, they could be questioning whether or not they want to invest into building something with you with the Three of Pentacles because this is about collaboration, um, people coming together to lay the groundwork for a solid foundation. Okay. So this is what we have so far. I am going to clarify a little bit of this energy here with my super tiny little <laughs> tarot deck. Um, this is the everyday witch tarot, the mini, mini version that I got on Amazon actually a couple days ago. So let's see. 
Let's see, with the Seven of Cups energy here, Spirit, what is this Seven of Cups? And I just saw the Justice card. So it's about this person trying to make a decision of what is going to serve their best and highest good. Okay, why is the Seven of Cups energy here? Death, okay. Death is an ending. Death is an ending. And I'm seeing here literally with the death card here, death is, look at how that rope is literally hanging on by a thread, right? So maybe for some of you, this person is at a place in their connection with you where they feel like your connection is hanging on by a thread. Um, death is also about change, you know, and looking behind death here, we see two doors, one of them completely closed and another one that is cracked open, right? So this person could be considering some type of maybe new beginning, right? Whether that new beginning is with you or it's without you, okay? Why is the Seven of Cups here? We have the Three of Swords. Okay, so this looks like separation, an ending, a breakup, ending something here. Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse? We have the Hermit, which is basically withdrawing, okay? Spending time alone, spending time in solitude, reflecting, introspecting, healing, okay? They just feel that this is something that they need to do right now. Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse? It's isolating yourself, right? Why is the Six of Pentacles here in reverse? We have the Ten of Cups, okay? So they could be questioning, like, is this connection making me happy? Do I really feel fulfilled? Let's get one more. Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse? We have the Six of Wands. Okay, hmm. Hmm. This person might be feeling... It might be questioning themselves. Like, do you appreciate them? Do they appreciate you? Does someone feel undervalued here? Underappreciated? Um, is this connection giving them what they need? Because the Six of Wands is about recognition. It's about uh, being in the spotlight. It's about feeling valued, right, by others. Other people, you know, with the Six of Wands, it's like, other people are giving her all these flowers, right? The, you know, the Six of Wands could be like a victory, a success. Like we've accomplished something and we're receiving public recognition because of that, right? So this person might be questioning whether or not you... Does this connection still hold value? Um, like I said, am I really happy here? Um... It may also be pride getting in the way, ego getting in the way. Why is the world energy here? We have the Ace of Wands. So this person may also be thinking like, what is the potential for a new beginning? Okay, what can I create? What can I manifest? How else can life be? What else can I create? Why is the ace of, I'm sorry, the, the world energy here? We've got the ace of swords in reverse, and this person is not really clear on that yet, right? What it is they want to manifest, what it is that they want to create. So they're feeling confused, basically stuck right now. Why is the ten of wands here? The Six of Swords. So they might feel like they're a little bit stressed out. And because of stressing out, the Six of Swords is moving away from something. Or even moving on. 
okay? If it's, if it's a situation that's bringing them stress, right, our, na our natural inclination would be get away from it. Get away from whatever it is that's causing stress. If they're feeling pressure, if they're feeling confused. Um, why is the Ten of Wands here? The Six of Cups and also the Five of Pentacles. So it makes me feel like they see that there is this bond between the two of you. There's a lot of memories here for some of you. But with the Five of Pentacles, this is abandonment. This is either shutting you out or you've shut them out. Um, the Five of Pentacles is also feeling maybe even like not good enough. Like if you've made this person feel not good enough, if you've undervalued them, if they don't feel appreciated by you, um, if they feel like their needs are not being met here with the Five of Pentacles, like something's missing, some, there's some type of energy of lack here. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? And then we have the Five of Swords, okay? So for this, Five of Swords could be something that's happening inside of them. You know, the Five of Swords could be a victim mentality that they could be holding on to. Um, especially if things have been a little challenging between you and them. Um, where literally there's conflict between the two of you guys and you guys are arguing and fighting, you know. They could be holding on to a victim mentality. You guys could be saying mean things to each other. Hurtful words. Actions towards each other that are, that are hurtful. Um, the Five of Swords can also be about us self-sabotaging. Okay, this is a feeling of defeat. They could be feeling defeated. Okay, depending on what your circumstances are in the connection. Okay, now let's ask Spirit here. What are their feelings towards you? What are their feelings towards you? What are their feelings towards you? What are your person's feelings towards you? Death. Mm, some of you, it is an ending here. There's Maybe there's some type of change because death is also about change. It's about transformation. Change being something that is inevitable, right? Uh, maybe something has changed in your connection. Maybe there's changes or transformation that's taking place within them and they feel like, I just need to be alone. I need to heal. Um, what are their feelings towards you? I mean, literally, we have this angel that's wings are kind of up in flames, you know? And that could be symbolic of maybe even what's happened to your connection. We have the Two of Cups. So this person does, I feel like they do, for some of you, it is that they do love you, okay? Some of you, this person could see you as their soulmate, that there is a, a strong bond between the two of you, whether that is passion or love, depending on where you're at with this person. What are their feelings towards you? The Magician. have the seven of wands this is standing their ground it could be even being a little bit defensive towards you or feeling like they have to defend themselves especially if you guys are fighting um for some of you it could be like they're at a place where they're wanting to try to you know, face the challenges that you're going through and persevere through them. Okay. We have the tower. Look at that. Yeah, some of you, this person is kind of like set on moving on. Okay. And that may not be for all of you, but of course you can, you know, you may be able to tell based off of what they're actions are right if they're completely avoiding you not responding to you cutting you off 
really depending on what kind of distance we're speaking of, what kind of withdrawing energy do we have, how long has it been, right? Is it that they're present and they're in front of you and you live with them, but they're acting a little withdrawn? That's a very different situation than those of you that are in a situation where a person is completely distanced from you. They don't talk to you anymore. They don't respond to you. You guys have each other blocked. You know, there could be so many differences here, but the tower is an energy of release. And at the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the eight of cups. Okay. The eight of cups is a card of emotional abandonment, withdrawal, detachment, letting go, walking away. Okay. And this guy looks like he has his bag packed here. So some of you quite literally, it could be that there is a connection here, but they could be choosing to walk away from it, right? Maybe if you guys work together, let's just say, where they could feel this way towards you, but maybe it's too much of a challenging situation. Maybe if there's distance there, it's too challenging. You know, I feel this way towards you, but I have to stick with my decision here to walk away or to let go. Okay, but that's honestly kind of what this feels like here. There's some type of release. The tower can even be about a relationship breakdown. Okay, something that's being broken down here. Now, I do want to clarify this death card and the two of cups. So why is the two of cups here? Why is the two of cups here? The Four of Swords. This person is doing a lot of reflection about your connection right now. A lot of thinking about the connection. Some of you, it's no contact. Why is the... Or non-action. We have the High Priestess. So it's kind of like they're keeping a lot of this to themselves, okay? This High Priestess is also kind of withdrawing and looking within the self, listening to what their intuition is saying about what decision to make here. Why is the death card here? The Wheel of Fortune. So more or less right now, they could be feeling that things are kind of like unpredictable. They're trying to just kind of go with the flow. There can also be some life changes that this person is going through, literally. You know, the Wheel of Fortune is about being at a turning point in our life. Changes that are taking place. Maybe for some of you, the change is the relationship ending, right? Letting go of the relationship, moving on from it. Okay. Let's see, what is the Seven of Wands energy here? The King of Swords. Yeah, this person is doing a lot of really trying to think logically about this situation between the two of you at this time. You know, facing what the facts are of the situation. They might not be showing or telling a lot of their feelings, right? Again, we have this very guarded defensive energy here. The Seven of Wands. Why is the tower here? The Emperor in reverse. Emperor in reverse. Hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like, I mean, for some of you, your connection could be unstable. Okay, it could be unstable. I am seeing the nine of pentacles at the bottom, which is about independence, freedom, you know, uh, being on our own, right? So this person might be feeling like I don't want to invest into a relationship. I don't want commitment. Um, I want to stay single right? Even for some of you, I want to focus on myself. Okay. Um, some of you, the person might have feelings for you and like you, right? But they just don't say anything. They just don't say anything here. 
Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at what this person's um, fears or concerns are about your uh, connection with them. So let's get these cards back in here. Fears and concerns, like what is it that is on their mind? Maybe what something that is um, bothering them. We'll see. Okay. So what are your person's fears or concerns about this connection? What are their fears or concerns? What are their fears or concerns about this connection? We have the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Queen of Swords. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Some of you, I literally feel like this person is afraid of you. Okay, your energy is extremely intimidating to this person. Okay, extremely intimidating. I feel like many of you have like this very powerful, no BS, no playing around type of energy. What are their fears or concerns? The Wheel of Fortune. The un I mean, for some of you, it could be the unpredictability of the situation between the two of you. We have judgment here. They could be thinking that you, maybe you're judgmental of them. They can also be thinking about everything that you and this person, especially for those of you that have history, everything that you guys have gone through together and making a judgment call based off of that. You know, especially if, if a person is holding on to anger or resentment or, you know, anything like that. Can we forgive? Can we move on? Are we going to bring up old stuff, right? Is there old baggage that's coming up here that's affecting your connection with them? Whether it's your past, their past, um... Yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like this person fears your fears your power. And with the six of pentacles at the bottom, this could even be that, you know, a fear or concern that they have is if things are going to be balanced, right? Maybe it could even be investing into the connection because we also have the Knight of Wands energy. So for those of you where you're dealing with someone who has been non-committal and only about the intimacy, you know, the whole idea of commitment can be something that bothers them. That's a fear of theirs, you know. Um, I feel like they also have a fear of expressing their feelings, their heart. Um, talking about their feelings can be a fear that they have. Talking about, expressing... Um, Yeah, that's that's all that's what I'm getting here. Let's 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 go into this oracle deck here. What are their fears and concerns about you and the connection pile number 1? What are their fears and concerns about this connection? What are their fears and concerns? We have addiction here. Okay, so some of you, maybe there is addictions. Maybe addictions are a problem in the connection. And maybe, I don't know, maybe you put some of you put your foot down and said, hey, this is something you need to stop. We also have codependency here. Obsession, if you're obsessive. Are they obsessed? Are you obsessed? Do they feel like they're being held back? We have possession and control. Are you controlling? Are you being possessive? Are you clinging? right? Clinginess can also be an issue here. And then we have emotional block, which to me is, again, this is holding back feelings and emotions. Maybe speaking their truth is something that they're afraid of doing, because what are you going to say? <laughs> what are you going to say to them? 
Can they face you? Can they touch? Can they speak with you openly and honestly about really what is on their mind? And how, and if they do, how are you going to respond? Okay. Like I said, some of you have some very intimidating energy, you know, and especially if you're coming to a queen of swords to speak to someone who embodies the energy of the queen of swords, that's scary. Okay. That is intimidating energy right there. Um, yeah, because the Queen of Swords is, she is like a no BS type of energy. Like, do not BS with me. Do not try to lie to me. Do not try to play games with me. I will see right through your games. I will see right through your lies. I will see right through your manipulation. I am not to be played with. Right? And some of you might have a very assertive, powerful energy that this person is just like, okay, I can't win. I can't like, even if you're dealing with somebody who's like a player, right? Somebody who's only about the intimacy or friends with benefits or situationship. And you are very clear and direct about what it is that you want. And their fear could be, I only want intimacy. I don't want commitment. I don't want to invest here. And I know that if I do that, I have to open up with feelings. I have to be honest and I don't want to be honest right? For some of you, that could be literally an issue here. What are their fears and concerns? We have why here, and it says puzzled, confusion, and unclear. They might even be confused about even their own thoughts, their own feelings. We have divine intervention and a time for reflection, which kind of goes back into this person spending time alone, reflecting upon things, they could be fearing that things are going to change in their life. How much is this going to change their life? Right? Or even things that have the fearing you change as a person. Changes in the connection. Changes in the relationship. Right? Like let's just say you guys are just dating right now. And then they have a fear of commitment here. If they do commit to you. How are you going to change? How is the connection going to change between the two of you? Right? And then we have cycles here with time, waiting, and infinity. So they may even be worried or fearful of timing, of a need to make decisions or choices. Maybe the cycles could be them kind of going back and forth. And yeah, we have debating at the bottom. Contemplation, thinking it over, right? So maybe they fear even making a choice, making a decision, um, being clear about things in their head. We've got the storm at the bottom, turmoil is coming ahead. They could be worried about, they could be trying to like avoid conflict. Okay, so let's see here. What is their next action? Uh, pile one, what is there going to be their next action, if anything? What will be their next move, their next action towards you? Next move, next action towards pile one, ten of wands, which is holding themselves back, holding things back. The knight of pentacles. This person is trying to be very strategic about how they, how they do things, okay, very carefully. I'm also noticing there's three clocks that are here. Waiting for the right time to do something, to say something. I mean, literally the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy of the tarot deck. So this person is not in a hurry. Okay, not in a hurry to do anything. We have the Three of Swords in reverse. So for some of you, it could be keeping things as separated, especially if you're already broken up or separated at this time. Their focus could be on healing. Okay. We have the King of Cups. Six of Swords. Okay. So this, all right. And I'm seeing the tower at the bottom. So this person, as far as their next action, they're not really taking any action towards you. Okay. I feel like they're trying to get themselves into a place of more emotional stability, more groundedness. But the Six of Swords here in the tower, I feel like is this person either for some of you moving on, moving away, ending things with you. I mean, that could be an action towards you. Okay, that could be an action. Um, but yeah, this is moving on and releasing here, letting go. 
So if they're already away from you, you guys are already broken up, then it's staying like that. And they're holding themselves back here. That's kind of what I'm getting. Okay. Now, those of you where you're in a relationship with this person, and let's just say you are married to them, you are in a committed partnership. Okay. This person could be holding back a lot of what they're feeling here. Um, but trying to be very strategic about how they do things, right? Maybe there's healing that needs to happen in your connection. The tower can also be symbolic of releasing something, right? Maybe that is, I don't know, it could be fears. It could be so many different things. Let's see, why is the tower here? Oops, the hangman, okay. Which is basically a person who is surrendering, letting go, right? Um, the hangman is also a place of limbo, non-action. Okay, not taking action. Just taking some time to stay withdrawn, you know, waiting till they kind of have some type of... It's almost like they, needed to, they need to step away so that they can gain some perspective here, okay? Why is the Six of Swords here? We have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Star, Eight of Wands and the Star. Some of you, this person, especially if you're in a relationship with the person already, you guys are committed. It could be really trying to work on healing the communication between the two of you, okay? I feel like trying to be more compassionate. Um, more emotionally stable. Why is the King of Cups here? The Two of Swords, yeah. It's just kind of stuck right now. Still feeling a little blocked here. Confused, conflicted, indecisive. Okay. Hmm. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Four of Swords. Okay, so some of you, this will be continuing a no contact situation or no action towards you. Why is the Three of Swords here? The Ace of Cups in reverse. This person, I'm sorry, Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so this person's still feeling a little bit uneasy, a little bit discontent. You know, things could be also not what they expected them to be in this situation between the two of you. They may not be feeling really happy about it. The moon, yeah. So many of you, it's like they're keeping things hidden, um, not expressing anything, hiding, concealing, not talking about what their fears are, not talking about what their feelings are. It's just everything's a mystery. Holding back, hiding things, covering them up. Okay, and we've got judgment. So clearly with judgment energy here, this person has to make a decision here, a judgment call right? About what it is they want. So until they get to that place, for some of you, this is going to be continuing as a no contact situation, letting go, some of you moving on. Okay. So you can always tell really, like I said, based off of what is happening, what is going on? Has it been, like I said, has it been a few weeks where you guys have been no contact or this person has been withdrawn or is this person stopped talking to you for the last five years? Then maybe this is you know, done. Okay, so really kind of be discerning with this message here, you know, best what is happening in your situation, what you're going through, and where you're at in communication, if things have been gone and ended for a long time already, you know, this person may already be just kind of moving on from this situation and continuing on with the no contact, and just being done with it. Or for others, if you were actually in a relationship, they can be trying to decide here, you know, is it worth it to try to save this, to salvage it? Um, you know, being very strategic about how you guys move forward. Okay, so that is all that I have for you, pile number one. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading.
Hi, Pal 2. So those of you that resonated with this Hermit card here from the, uh, what is this? The Tarot of the Owls. Okay, this is going to be a reading. So we're going to put that Hermit card back. And we're going to be asking four questions today. Why is your person distancing themselves from you? What are their feelings? What are their fears and concerns about you or the connection? And then what is their next move or next action towards you, if any? Okay. So let's see. Pile number two. Pile two. Why are they distancing themselves from you? Pile two. Why are they distancing themselves from you? Okay, so we have the two of wands and the ten of pentacles. Okay. So this looks like some type of choice here surrounding a long-term commitment here. And the two of wands is kind of like when we're at a crossroads and we have to choose a path, right? We have to choose a direction here. So if you're already committed to this person, then they can be thinking about whether or not they want to stay committed um, or whether or not they want to move on from something. Or if you're not in a committed partnership with this person, they could be trying to make a choice about whether or not to commit. Okay. They could also have family stuff going on. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles is a family card. Let's see. Why are they distancing themselves from you? Maybe they feel out of... I don't know. Some of you, I know you're in third-party situations. So, I mean, if, they are, if you are connecting with somebody who is married and does have a family, um, then they can be kind of trying to figure out what they're going to do about this whole situation. Okay. Why are they distancing themselves from you? The nine of pentacles. Okay. So there's energy here surrounding being single, independent. So if you're with somebody who you're not committed to yet, they can be deciding here. Do I want to be in a relationship or do I want to continue to be single? This can also be a person who's really focused on their career right now, you know, What else? Why are they distancing themselves from you? The King of Wands. Yeah, some of you, this person might have like other like dreams, aspirations, goals, finances, other things that might be on their mind. Okay. For others of you where you're connecting with somebody whom there might be a little bit of like, I want freedom. I want to be independent. I don't know if I want to be in a relationship. This is kind of where the question is here. Let's see, what else? Why are they distancing themselves from you? Now, if you are by chance, you know, dealing with somebody who is married or if you're married, okay, no judgment, but I know you guys have those situations out there, um, then this could be deciding what they're going to do with their marriage, let's just say their long-term relationship putting the energy behind making themselves or being single. Okay. But with, I mean, and with the strength card here, this is also holding themselves back. They can also be trying to find the courage to take some kind of action here. And I'm feeling with the four of pentacles energy here too. Um, I don't know. Maybe somebody's trying to control something or they feel like they're being controlled. Or this can be when a person has a, a fear of taking things to the next level. Okay. So let's just say you guys are just dating each other right now. They could be feeling a little bit withdrawn because they're trying to decide whether or not they want to pursue something more with you. Okay. So take it however it resonates. But that is what is coming through for why they're distancing themselves. So let's clarify a little bit. Let's see what this energy is surrounding the two of wands. 
why is the two of wands here spirit why is the two of wands here i think i saw something else was there yep the king of swords okay and we have the six of cups okay king of swords and the six of cups okay so with the king of swords it's like this person is really trying to make very clear decisions trying to focus on the details focus on the plan what the vision is um i do feel like this person you know for some of you the six of cups can talk about a reconciliation um I feel like they do feel that there is a bond between the two of you, okay? If this person is an ex-partner, right, then the Six of Cups can represent maybe a reunion or a reconciliation here. Let's see what the energy is surrounding the Ten of Pentacles. the death card okay so this is some type of ending here to a relationship so take that how it resonates like i said some of you could be i don't know maybe some of you are married to this person yeah maybe some of you are married to this person maybe you might you might, you could even have a family with this person but with the death card, the death card is about an ending here. So some of you, it could be that this person is questioning whether or not to end a marriage. Or even if you're the person who initiated and said, hey, I want to get a divorce here. I want to separate. I want to break up. I feel like this person might be kind of hiding a lot of their feelings here. Or just, I mean, the King of Swords, regardless, is a very detached energy. It's very disconnected from the heart space. It can become very cold. Um, those of you that you are in a third party situation and that person is married, they can be trying to make a decision about, you know, ending something here. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? We have the Hermit. The Hermit is about spending time alone, needing time alone. They might really also enjoy their solitude. And then we have the Three of Swords here. This person could be working on healing, right? They could feel like they're not ready for a relationship or re not ready for commitment yet. Um, especially for those of you where you haven't even been in a relationship with this person. Um, some of you can genuinely be in a love triangle situation. Okay. Why is the King of Wands here? Nine of Swords, okay. This person feels a lot of anxiety here about taking action. Why is the King of Wands here? And then we have the World in Reverse. So, I mean, this could really be a chapter of their person's life that they have not closed yet. Um... This person, for some of you, might even feel that there's kind of like unfinished business between the two of you, but also afraid to take some kind of action here. Why is the strength card here? Justice. Okay. Hmm. Some of you, this person could even be going through some type of legal situations could be trying to make a decision it's going to serve their best and highest good here why is the four of pentacles here knight of swords i almost feel like this person is like trying to decide what kind of action they're going to take here right so they may feel like they need some time alone here with the hermit. Okay, so let's ask now, what are this person's feelings towards you? What 
are their feelings? What are their feelings towards you, pal, too? The Five of Swords. This person could be feeling defeated. Some of you might have literally had some type of argument, fight, disagreement. Okay. What are their feelings towards you? The tower. Wow. Okay. So the tower is definitely very chaotic energy. Some of you might have had like a, a super bad blowout ending with this person. Look at how this nest is like on fire here. Okay, so they might see that things are very unstable between the two of you. There could have been a breakup here. Um, some of you might have a really exchanged some not so nice words with this person. Some of you, this person could have been mean to you or you could have been mean to them. Hmm. Tower is, it brings in a lot of energy of very chaotic upheaval. What are their feelings towards you? Five of cups in reverse. I'm definitely feeling some challenging energy towards you, pal, too. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So I, I really kind of feel like this person is really, really reflect or really kind of just thinking by themselves. Like they're, like I said, some of you, the situation between you and them can be very chaotic. Um, so it makes me feel like this person is kind of like focused on themselves, working on themselves. What are their feelings towards you? The moon, which is really fears, insecurities, doubts in their mind about you, um, uncertainty. I am seeing the devil at the bottom. Some of you literally, the five, the devil energy can be that your relationship with this person was toxic. They might see you as toxic. The five of swords can even be like drama, you know. There was too much drama in your connection. Um, lots of fighting, disagreeing, arguing, whatever it was. Um, some of you, the five of swords can talk about a person who is doing a lot of self-sabotaging. Okay. Um, but the moon energy here kind of makes me feel like this person is hiding a lot of their feelings that they have. So let's clarify that. Why is the moon here? The Four of Pentacles, person holding back here, afraid. Why is the moon here? The hangman in reverse. It's like this person is having a difficult time with maybe seeing things your way or changing their perspective on things. Why is the Five of Cups in reverse? The Ace of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. Mm. I'm seeing the Seven of Wands at the bottom, which is a little bit of a defensive energy here. Again, I kind of feel like this person's feelings right now are, you know, the tower is about releasing something, focusing on themselves. Some of you, this four of swords is no contact or non-action towards you. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to ask spirit here, what are their fears? Okay, their fears and uh, concerns here about you, about the connection between the two of you. So we'll see what kind of comes through. And 
go from there. Okay, so what are their fears or concerns about you and the connection, Pile 2? So what are their fears or concerns about you and the connection? What are their fears and concerns? The Six of Wands. Let's see. What are their fears or concerns? The Lovers. Of, it's like <laughs> what is going on here the seven of swords this person I feel like is very avoidant of I mean they fear listening to what their intuition is guiding them to do in this situation I'm feeling like this person is a some of you the person's afraid of commitment okay they are afraid of commitment um, they're afraid of, of putting their feelings out there, expressing their feelings. Some of this person could be avoiding apologizing to you, especially if they owe you an apology. Um, being vulnerable, making the wrong choice, making the wrong decision is what this person is afraid of. Hmm. Let's look at the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Telling you I love you for some of you. Afraid of telling you that they love you. And that won't be for all of you, but for some of you where this person has been like right on the, you know, making the decision about whether or not they want long-term commitment, you know, like actually considering it. It's like, yeah, I feel like this person, like acknowledging their feelings, telling you their feelings, expressing their feelings to you. Yeah, some of you, literally, this person is afraid of commitment. The Eight of Wands, talking, communicating about commitment <laughs> literally talking about commitment here they don't know how to find the words to express to you what they're feeling what they're thinking why is the lovers here the hangman surrendering to their feelings especially for those of you where you know that this person loves you it's like their fear is just surrendering to that love Right? Just going with it could be a, a huge fear here, right? Because what does that mean? If they acknowledge their feelings to you, if they tell you, hey, yes, I do love you, and they tell you that, that changes everything, right? Especially if there's no commitment in place yet, and the person tells you, I love you, or I really like you, or I really, you know, it's like it changes things in your mind because then you're like, okay, well, if you love me, then what? Are we going to be together? Are we going to be in a relationship? Are we going to get together? And if you're dealing with someone who has already a fear of commitment here and they actually say that to you, of course, you're going to have that in your mind. Like, so what are we? What does that mean? If you love me and you see a future with us, then when is that going to happen? Right? So admitting it, I feel like is also something this person for somebody is afraid of is just saying it. Okay. Now, those of you where you're in like a third party situation, there's the marriage involved. Um, I mean, their, their fear could be that you're married, right? Or their fear could be that they're also married and, you know, maybe bringing attention to making a choice or decision about that marriage, whether it's yours or theirs, can also be a situation here. 
Why is the lovers here? We've got the six of swords and the lovers in reverse. Okay, now those of you where you are, like I said, in a third party situation and either you're married, they're married, somebody's in a relationship here, um, they could be worried about moving on from that relationship. Um, they can also worry about your connection changing. Right? Okay, let's pull some oracle here. What are their fears or concerns? about you or the connection they may also be concerned like are your feelings stronger than their feelings are you more invested than they are or are wait are you more invested than them or are they more invested into you like is there an imbalance here okay that can also be a concern like do you love me more than I love you or do you love me and I only like you or, you know, something like that with the lovers in reverse. Also, the lovers in reverse could be forcing love, forcing love, forcing commitment instead of allowing it to be something that just kind of unfolds naturally, you know, a natural progression of commitment versus forcing, right? Especially if you've given this person kind of like an ultimatum and said, hey, you know what? Are we going to be together or not? You know, the person doesn't want to be forced into something, but more or less just kind of let's just go with the flow and let's just see where it goes, right? Okay, so what are their fears or concerns? What are their fears or concerns? We have healing heart here, healing heartbreak, toxicity or addiction and an abusive relationship. So it could be, I don't know. I mean, your relationship could be that or they could be healing from something like that from their past. What are their fears or concerns? Wedding rings, <laughs> literally commitment here. Okay. Text message. We have unsent messages. So their fear is about communicating with you, talking to you, maybe even about commitment. What is their fear or concern? We have peace here, balance, harmony, friendship. Mm, maybe if you guys are friends, if they open up to you and tell you that they have romantic feelings towards you, what is that going to do to your friendship? What is that going to do to the harmony in your connection? We have separation here. It's also a concern. So is there distance between the two of you? Is there like literal physical distance? Another concern could be maybe you guys are separated right now. Maybe they haven't talked to you. Maybe you haven't talked to them. Um, okay, let's ask the, the last question now. What is their next move or action towards you, Kyle, too? If any, what is their next move or action towards you? What is their next move or action towards you? What is their next move towards pile two? The magician. What is their next move? The fool. Okay. Six of Cups. It makes me feel like this person is going to be making some move towards you. Pile one. This person could be reaching out to you, taking a leap of faith and expressing their feelings. Some of you, this will be reconciliation, reunion. Three of Cups. Yep, definitely. Three of Pentacles at the bottom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is reconciliation, pile two. This is the expression of feelings, re re uh, reconnecting with you. Um, this person could be coming forward and just kind of putting their feelings out there. Taking a chance, taking a leap of faith. 
um, building something with you, okay, is what I'm getting here. The Three of Cups, you know, is a beautiful energy. It's a card of joy and happiness. People coming together, spending time. They could be asking you on a date, okay, for some of you. And spending quality time, building memories with you. Um, if you are at a distance from this person, then maybe it's them traveling to see you, you know, or you traveling to see them. Uh, I'm also seeing a strong friendship energy here too. So those of you where you have this person is like your friend, then they can be all, maybe even putting themselves out there to express romantic feelings towards you. Okay. Could be a friendship type of thing, but the Queen of Cups is definitely romantic. Let's let's clarify this magician. But I feel good about this. Uh, let's see. Why is the magician here? Some of you, this person might even be proposing to you. Okay. It won't be for all of you, but some of you, we could definitely have a proposal coming. What is this? The five of wands in reverse. This is resolving maybe conflict between the two of you if there's been some challenging energy it could be the two of you guys resolving that conflict or it could be resolving the conflict that they feel with inside of themselves letting go of all of that stress king of wands in reverse it could be letting go of resentment or anger or the self-sabotaging type of energy here. Um, let's see. What is this full energy here? The magician. Why is the fool here? The nine of swords. Okay, there's anxiety. Uh, being in their head about it. But the chariot is about having the willpower to do something. Right? Being able to just do it. Hmm. Why is the three of cups here? What do we have? What is this? The Five of Swords in Reverse. Yep. So this is resolving whatever conflict you've had with this person. Fights, arguments, disagreements, challenges. It's this person really working on resolving a lot of that type of energy. Them being more in their power here. For many of you, can be having the strength and the courage to move forward with a commitment for some of you. Okay. Facing their fears. Okay. So that is all that I have for you, pile number two. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonated with this uh, hermit here, the Holly King from the Green Witch Tarot, this is going to be a reading today. So we're asking four questions for this reading today. Why is your person distancing themselves from you? What are their feelings towards you? What are their fears and concerns about you and the connection? And also, what is their next move or next action towards you? Okay, so let's see. And this reading from my estimate from pile one and pile twos, is this reading will probably be about 30 minutes long. Okay, probably around there. So let's see. Pile number three. Why is your person distancing themselves from you? Why are they distancing themselves from you? The Knight of Swords. 
we have the death card. We have temperance. The nine of swords. Or are they distancing themselves from you? We have the four of pentacles and the lady and the Lord, which is the lover's card. Okay. Mm, okay. So, I mean, we do have the, the Nine of Swords energy here, and that is anxiety. That is stressing, worrying, overthinking, overanalyzing. And I feel like this person wants to communicate with you, talk to you, express things to you, be confident in their actions and their words. But there's so much anxiety here. And I feel like with the lovers being here, I mean, this person might love you. Okay, they might really love you. Um, okay, this is really going to be depending on what your situation is with this person. Like I said in the beginning, some of you, you could be dating the person, crushing on the person, married to the person, separated, broken up, so many different situations that it could be. So take it how it resonates for you, okay? But... What I'm seeing here is I feel like for those of you that are actually in a committed relationship with this person, okay, they may feel that there has been some type of change that has taken place in your connection and maybe you guys are trying to heal your relationship with the person. Um, with the four of pentacles, this can be an energy of controlling something. So you could be someone who's trying to control them or they feel like they're being controlled or forced into something. Um, and that can be something that brings about a lot of anxiety here, right? Um, I'm also feeling like the person could literally be healing here. Okay. Someone could be healing. They could be going through a lot of their own change and transformation. The thing that I do notice about this death card, though, look at how death is standing here behind the tree and watching these two people kind of walk away here. Hmm. Maybe you have walked away from this person or they have walked away from you. Maybe there's distance between the two of you, physical. I mean, we are asking, why are they distancing themselves from you? I don't know. Maybe this, this little, is it a moth or a butterfly? That is a moth. Hmm. It does look like there's healing here, though, with temperance. Makes me feel like with the Four of Pentacles energy here, this person is holding back. They're afraid of changing maybe even what your connection is, reaching out to you, talking to you. So let's clarify a little bit. Let's see why the Nine of Swords is here first. We have the hermit. And you know what's funny? We're asking today about why they're distancing themselves and every single pile got the hermit. Okay. So the hermit is about spending time alone, healing, needing solitude, needing time to think, time to reflect, time to do some introspection. Um, why is the nine of swords here? Hmm. This person has romantic feelings that they want to talk to you about, Pile 3. Maybe they don't know how to bring them up, how to say it to you. 
But with that Knight of Swords energy, it's kind of like they want to just feel confident to just come towards you and say, and just say it. You know, maybe for some of you, this death card is symbolic of your relationship changing or maybe even something ending here. You know, maybe something there was an ending in your relationship. Okay, let's look at the lovers here. Some of you, it's love. Like this person loves you and they just don't know how to tell you. Why is the lovers here? Or they're falling in love with you. Okay, falling in love. Why is the lovers here? The Page of Cups. Yeah. So this person doesn't know how to express their feelings to you. Okay, they could be afraid of putting themselves out there, being vulnerable. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? The Queen of Cups. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is very clear here. It's kind of funny. It's not funny, but it's funny because it's like this person has feelings for you, pile three, and they just like. Ugh. Too afraid to say it. Okay, why is temperance here? What is that? The Four of Wands. Mm. Why is temperance here? The Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Hmm. This person could still be healing, okay, from something. Look at how she's kind of backed up against this tree here with bandages on, you know, protecting herself. She looks like she's like on guard here. Why is the death card here? It, it almost kind of gives me this feeling like this person l watched you walk away when they when they loved you or they were in love with you, but you, you walked away or someone walked away here and they watched you walk away without confessing feelings to you. Some of you, this person could be wanting to reconcile here. Why is the death card here? What is that? The five of wands in reverse. This person is trying to resolve the inner conflict that they feel with inside of themselves about coming forward and communicating and say, being confident in what, in their actions, in their words. Why is the knight of swords here? Ten of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Maybe some of you, this person is afraid of commitment. It can also be somebody who really hides their feelings here. Um, some of you might even be dealing with somebody who is still healing from a long-term relationship or a divorce, and they could be afraid of opening their heart up again. They could be still grieving the loss of that relationship, and even though they could know that you have feelings and seeing you, they could be... Um, not able to give their full time and attention to this connection for some of you. Okay, you could be dealing with, like I said, with a divorced person, someone who's going through a separation or a divorce. I mean, you might even be going through a separation or divorce with this person, but this person loves you. They really love you, pile three. Okay, let's look at what their feelings are towards you. We can already see them here, though. We have the almost the entire um, cups, courts here. The page, the knight, the queen. We're only missing the king. Okay, what are their feelings towards you, pile three? Ace of Pentacles, this person's wanting a new beginning, a new start. 
What are their feelings? The Eight of Wands. Person's wanting to communicate with you. Maybe about a new beginning. We have the Five of Wands. The Page of Swords. Yeah, like this person's wanting to communicate with you, talk to you, express something to you. Queen of Swords. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This person's wanting to be honest. Wanting to be honest. Ace of Swords. This person, Six of Swords in Reverse. If this person's an ex-partner of yours, this person has not moved on. Okay, even if this is your ex, this person has not moved on. They may act like they have, but they have not. Okay, they have not. They have not moved on. Hmm. This person still feels very drawn to you. Like their energy is leading them towards you and they're fighting it. Why? Why are, why, are, why is the Five of Wands here? Two of Pentacles. They're having like mixed feelings here. Going back and forth over. Trying to make the right choice here. Trying to move slowly, carefully, strategically. Want to make sure they're making the right choice. Look at this night. This night, she's got some flowers here. Why is the Five of Wands here? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so they're taking their time. Mm hmm. What is the Six of Swords in Reverse, Spirit? King of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. Those of you where you you are literally dealing with somebody who is divorced or going through or has had that in their past and they're just afraid of, you know, committing again. Um, this person, their feeling is that they have not completely let go of their past. Okay. They are still holding on to this energy. They're trying to heal. Okay. They might feeling like they want to tell you also like, Hey, I haven't moved on from this relationship. I'm still healing from it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at what this person's uh, fears or concerns are about you and uh, the connection. What are their fears, concerns that they have? Let's see if there's even anything you can do, you know, to try to help with it or to... All right, pile three, let's see. What are their fears or concerns about you? What are their fears or concerns about you and the connection? What are their fears or concerns? Ten of swords that they're going to get hurt. Mm. Mm. It could be the whole back and forth, and that could even be not trusting themselves, right? Uh, what are their fears and concerns? The high priest, which is the hierophant. The Four of Cups. I'm also feeling like this person fears losing you. You getting bored of them. You, yeah, losing interest. They fear losing you. Like if they don't make a choice or a decision here that you're just going to be done with them. 
What is their fear or concern? The fool, which is taking the leap of faith. Just going for it. I mean, it literally is fear. Hmm. They might even concern that you're exploring other options, Pile 3. Like you're thinking about other options that you might have that are better than what they can give to you. Makes me feel like maybe there might be a little bit of insecurities here within your person. Some of you, literally, this person is fearing commitment again. Okay? Especially if there's someone who's gone already through like a separation, divorce, things like that. It could be like not wanting to go through all of that again, you know? Hmm. Okay, let's see. What are there? Let's look at this Ten of Swords first. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? We want to take that upright. We have the Three of Wands. Hmm. We'll take it upright. This makes me feel like the fear here is about things changing between the two of you in the future. I mean, distance can also be, some of you, there could be distance, like a long distance connection could be a fear. Betraying, especially if you are long distance with them, they could be fearing that you're going to betray them. The else person also fears rejection, okay? Fear of rejection. Hmm. Maybe if things don't go so good in the future between the two of you, if they end up getting hurt by planning a future with you and then end up, connection ends up going south. Why is the two of pentacles here? They're not able to make a decision, making the right choice. They could be fearing they're making the right the choice. Queen of Swords in reverse, that their judgment is clouded. Yeah. Are they in the right headspace? Are they clear? Are they sure? Are they confident? Again, being honest can also be a fear of theirs. Being honest with you, telling you, right, what they really feel here. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Ace of Swords, yeah. Some of you can literally just be talking to you, okay? Especially if you've been no contact. Why is the High Priest here? The Eight of Swords. Their beliefs. Being stuck in limited beliefs here. They might also have the association of feeling trapped. Four of Pentacles, this person being afraid. Hmm. We can also have like thinking negative, right? Instead of being more optimistic. They might kind of revert back into negative thinking. Why is the Four of Cups here? Two of Swords. It could also be in denial of their feelings. Ten of Wands in reverse. It's like letting go of all of this energetic weight baggage that this person is carrying here. Three of Cups in reverse. And it may even be like questioning, like, can I can I really be happy again? Can I let go of my past? What is the fool here? And again, I'm, I'm kind of getting trust issues for some of you. Like a person who has trust issues. Afraid of getting hurt again. Afraid of her, betrayal. Being betrayed. The moon, the seven of wands, and the knight of pentacles. There's also this very defensive energy. This person has a lot of irrational fears, insecurities, doubt, doubting themselves, not trusting themselves, maybe not trusting you. Hmm. 
not trusting love. Let's see. What are their fears or concerns about you? Pile three and the connection. What are their fears or concerns? What are their fears or concerns? Obstacles, barriers, challenges, hurdles that they have to overcome here. We have reminiscing, making memories, learning from the past. So their past is also repeating of the past, whether it's your past together with this person or their past, right? Maybe if you guys have to overcome problems that you've had in the past, we have engagement ring. A higher level of commitment is something that they're also afraid of. Love, <laughs> afraid of love, afraid of falling in love. The changes I feel like that being in love would create, right? Commitment here. Somebody, this person feels like there's unfinished business between the two of you. Okay, so last question we're going to ask here, pile three. What is their next move towards you? Okay. What is their next move towards you? Next move, next action towards pile three. Wheel of Fortune. I did not want to see that. What is their next move? Knight of Pentacles. Mm. Could get better. Mm, justice. Priestess. This is, I don't know, pile three. Okay. I'm seeing the Knight of Swords at the bottom, which is about action, okay? There's action, but the issue lie in this Wheel of Fortune, okay? Because the Wheel of Fortune is very, it's like this person going through these cycles, right? The whole back and forth of the Two of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune is very unpredictable energy that this person has. So it's more or less like, okay, they want to take action. When? When are they going to take action? And there's two very different energies here. The Knight of Pentacles is a very fast moving, confident energy. And then you have the complete opposite here, which is the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight of the tarot deck. This is like a snail's pace where this is like lightning with the Knight of Swords. And I'm also seeing justice and the high priestess. And high priestess is about listening to our intuition, where justice is all about logic, weighing our options, trying to make the right choice, right decision. And that might, you know, be why we've got the Knight of Pentacles, because the person is wanting to make sure they're making the right choice. They're making the right move. So I feel like in their mind, they're just like wanting to like, go, 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 let's do this. Let's, you know, let's, let's make this happen. But then the, another side of them is like, no, slow down. Think about this. Make sure you're making the right choice here. So yeah, I can see why with the Wheel of Fortune, this is unpredictable energy. You've got two opposite ends of the scale here, the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. What is it going to be? <laughs> um, but the Six of Wands here, you know, is about recognition. It's about, you know, something being in the spotlight. This makes me feel like maybe this person could be trying to get your attention, wanting your attention, trying to bring attention to themselves, or... Hmm... So, I mean, their next move, I feel like, could be trying to get your attention. 
maybe trying to say something to you, but maybe they're not revealing everything just yet, with, especially with the high priestess here. Maybe the next move is trying to get your attention or hoping you notice them. Um, but I feel like with the, the high priestess here that there's still this energy of hiding, concealing something. So I want to see what this Wheel of Fortune is. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? I mean, look at this. We do have the wheel here, and it's pointing to Yule. It's pointing to Yule, which is winter solstice. Okay, so for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, um, what is this? Starting December? December. Okay. So maybe this is a timing for some of you when this person is going to take action in starting in, in this um, season of Yule, winter solstice, okay, which is starting in December. Um, those of you that are in the southern hemisphere, I think you guys are in, I don't know, are you guys in winter right now? I don't know. But this is winter. So maybe that's the timing for some of you. I mean, it has to be because Litha is here with summer. We're summer in Northern Hemisphere. So Southern Hemisphere has to be winter. Okay. Mm. Yeah, let's look at this Wheel of Fortune. What is their next move? Yeah, it makes me feel like this person is going to be trying to get your attention. They could. I mean, some of you, yes, the Knight of Swords is here. So maybe they are communicating with you taking some kind of action here very quickly too because the knight of swords is fast moving energy um we do have the empress here hmm makes me feel like there's a lot of unpredictable energy surrounding this person coming forward to talk about their feelings why is the six of wands here it could be wanting to manifest, though. Queen of Wands. I don't know. Maybe I'm noticing here that, you know, the Six of Wands, look like he's coming forward with something here. And then this Queen of Wands has a bouquet. So it makes me feel like they're showing you attention, appreciation for some of you. Recognition. Swords, why? What is that spirit? Why is the three of swords here? The page of swords, they can be talking to you, communicating to you, messaging you, texting you, maybe about your, I don't know, maybe some of you have had a breakup with this person. Or there is separation here. But this is messaging. Why is the high priestess here? The nine of cups. Okay. So basically what this is spirit is saying here is they might talk to you and take action towards you by communicating with you. But they're not going to be telling you everything. Okay. They won't be telling you everything about what their plan is. They might be holding this inside still. Okay, the Knight of Cups. The expression of their feelings and being vulnerable. It's like a wish, a dream to be able to reveal it to you, but the High Priestess is about something that is hidden. Not sharing all her secrets, right? The High Priestess hides things. So it could take some time for some of you for this person to actually reveal their heart to you. Okay, so that is all that I have for you, pile number three. I hope this reading was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next one.